Oh my gosh. This is one I, I, I'm not quite sure on. I'll, I'll do a quick breakdown. Uh, but I think Volkanovsky, uh, like a lot of people uh, believe, is the best pound for pound fighter on the planet. The way he puts it all together, his footwork, his ability to create angles and lure you into traps um, is second to none. I, I think he's one of the most intelligent fighters in the game, if not the most intelligent fighter in the game right now. The 145 pound division and the 155 pound division. Uh, maybe I'm a little biased, but uh, they are the toughest. They are the most, that's where the most technical fighters are. That's where the most depth is uh, in those two divisions. Um, and Volkanovsky has proven him, um, proven himself to be pretty unbeatable. And, and he's fought, he's fighting legends. Jose Aldo, uh, Max Holloway, uh, Brian Ortega, all these guys that are really dangerous in a lot of different ways. He's beating them all. He has the answers, it, it seems, all the time. So this is a huge challenge, though, for him in Islam Mahashev. Uh, similar to Habib, uh, you know you know exactly what he's going to do, and you can't stop him. I think he's an even better striker than Habib Nurmagomedov. Um, I, I don't think he wants to go 25 minutes on the feet with someone like Volkanovski, though. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I think we'll, where he will have the advantage is in the takedown game, uh, with the control on the ground. He's going to have to do that with Volkanovski. If Volkanovski can, can consistently find an answer to stop takedowns, or at the very least get back to his feet, I think it's Volkanovski's fight. I think he's being um, underestimated tremendously by the bookies, by a lot of the fans out there um, and experts. Um, it, it is certainly a tall challenge. Islam Mahashev is the favorite for a reason. But I think uh, people are underestimating Volkanovski because I, I truly believe he has a legitimate shot.